See when you come over You're still feeling hazy, I'm lazy, let's stay in until it's over Hello everyone here and welcome back to another video Now today's video is going to be on single versus relationships Yeah you lot love it when I do the verses on my channel So I thought why not bring it what it's like to be single And then what it's like to be in a relationship in the same situation You know what, what, what differs Nevertheless before we get into this video let's see if we can smash 35,000 likes share yeah. That'd be much appreciated Go down below and smash that like button right now And uh, yeah let's get into the video <laughs> Right, so the first thing I want to talk about which differs for when you're single and your relationships, yeah, is clubbing, yeah? You know me, personally, I fucking despise clubbing. I think it is absolute dog shit. I think it's full of fucking neeks that, oh, just, I just hate clubbing, yeah? I just prefer raving. But anyways, nevertheless, when you're single, clubbing is literally an objective just to pull. That is literally it. If you're going clubbing, yeah, most of the time, you're going there just to try and nick a bird. I, I, I don't know if girls do this to try and get a boy, but I'm a boy myself. From a boy's perspective, we go there, if you're single, just to pull. Is that not true? Who actually goes to a club and when they're queuing in the line thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to dance to such good music tonight. No, because the music's always fucking shit. I don't want to listen to Jason Derulo. Do, 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 do. 10 million times. I've heard it on the radio six times this fucking morning. Don't need to wear it again in a club. Versus when you're in a relationship, most of the time, the only lights you're gonna be seeing is the lights on your phone screen because you'll be texting your bird all night. Boys, am I wrong? Do you know any of your male friends or you yourself when you first got into a relationship and you've gone out on a night out and you are glued to your phone screen because I'm guilty myself, yeah? Not anymore. But I do feel like most people, when you first get into a relationship, yeah, say like the first like three months, oh, you're both very paranoid when you're going out. So yeah, I feel like it happens. I've seen my mates. It happened to my mates. Uh, it happened to me. So yeah, smash the like button right now if you know someone or you someone yourself that has been glued to your phones on a night out. Let's not lie now, boys. Come on. I don't even know why we come clubbing anymore. The music shit is full of neeks wearing glorious gangster and six silk. And to top it all off, the singles are eight pound. You're not wrong there, boy. It's fucking dog shit. So, please remind me, why do we come here? Because the birds are easy as anything. Get a couple drinks down and they're all over you like thrush. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Although, that does sound a bit rapey. Fuck off. I helped an old woman cross the road the other day. Is that rapey? Um, no, but what does that have to do with anything? Goes to show I'm a good person. I would never even think about doing something like that. Well, she was fit. Proper gilf. Oh man, you're buzz. Speaking of bar, I think I might melt. Have a look at that bird who just went to the bar. Fucking hell, she's fit. I don't regret coming here now, even if it's just to look at her. Cool, I forgot about all the birds. See, I told you it's worth it. I'm gonna go chat to her. Fuck off, you can't pull that. She's way out of your league, unique. Oh yeah? Watch me. What's happening, girl? You alright? Alright. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> so I was just wondering, do you want a drink? Oh. Yeah, okay, if you're offering. For current lemonade, please. Yeah? Alright, sweet. Yes, mate, I'll have a vodka and lemonade, please. Of course, sir. So, do you come here often then? Mm hmm. Cool, cool, sweet. So, um. I like your eyes. Sorry, what? <laughs> I said I like your eyes. You're really beautiful. Oh. Thanks. So, um. I was wondering if I could, uh. One vodka and lemonade? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Get your. number. Fuck's sake. Well, guess that didn't go to plan, did it? Yeah, so what? She's a slag anyways. And I've always got plan B. Oh man, she looks like a geezer. Are you sure? Yes, man. Beggars can't be choosers. And anyways, she's not even that bad. Bruv, she's a trollop. I'm telling you, that's a bloke. Yeah, yeah, just because I'm going to beat tonight and you ain't. <laughs> and anyways, if I do find out she's a geezer in the morning, I can always top myself. I keep a noose under my bed. You keep a noose under your bed. Why? For situations like this? You know, if I pull someone and they ain't know who they say they are? <laughs> well, you are not gonna wanna go to Thailand then. Oh shit, you heard! I'm going there for my birthday. Apparently the birds are proper filth. Do you wanna come? Um, I'm good. 
Oh yeah, and then he pissed himself. <laughs> oh my days, that is the funniest thing ever. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Anyways, boys, tonight I was thinking, the three of us, let's go clubbing. Yeah, all right, I'm up for that. Sweet. Charlie, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 nah, 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 I, I, I'll come, I'll come. <laughs> Good, it's, let me just ask my girlfriend first. Oh, all right, sure. Sweet, give me a second. <sighs> Hello? Hi babe, um, I was just wondering... Wondering? You've been wondering about leaving me, haven't you? That's why you've been a Ben so long, you prick! I know your game. No, no babe, I haven't been wondering about that. Oh, go on then. I was wondering if I could, um... Well, you know. What? If I could go clubbing with my mates? You what? So you can cheat on me all fucking night? I don't think so. But, babe, please, I'm not gonna cheat on you. I haven't been out with my friends in ages. I don't care, man. What am I, an idiot? Bella, I I'm not gonna cheat on you, I promise. You have nothing to worry about. And why should I trust you? Because, uh, when have I ever broken your trust before? True. All right, I'll let you, but on one condition. Sure, anything. A few moments later. Is it just me? Or has he been on that phone the entire fucking night? Oh no, bruv. He's seriously under the thumb. Might as well invite her out while he's at it. You right, guys? I hope you don't mind, but um, I've just invited Bella. Oh, never mind, he has. Mate, what are you doing? This is meant to be a boys' night. Yeah, I know, but... Bella's no trouble. She's fun. Trust me, it'll be good. She invited herself, didn't you? No. <laughs> what makes you say that? Mate, you shouldn't have to answer to her all the time. Hold on, sorry, she's ringing me. What is wrong with him, man? Oh, I know, it's so jarring, man. He's been out of us about two times this year. I know he's got a bird, but fuck me. Exactly, bruv. As soon as he gets a missus, he starts acting all different. You're not wrong. Yo, sorry about that. Um... What are you doing? Oh! Bella wanted me to face that man until she gets here. Right. Hi, you two. You right? Hi. Um, we're gonna go get a drink. Do you want one? Nah, I'm good, thanks. I'll just wait till Bella gets here. Alright, sweet. See you in a bit. No, sorry. Right, now the next situation I want to talk about which differs when you're single or when you're in a relationship is going to bed or, yeah, being in bed. You know, when you're single, most of the time, when you're up late at night and it gets to them hours and you're doing nothing but pre and Instagram with fit girls, yeah, most of the time, yeah, you're horny. Let's be honest now. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the single thing. I'll talk to you about it after the skit so you see what I mean. But yeah, anyways, relationships. Relationship guys to bed, you know, you get to sleep next to someone. I'm talking obviously if you're sleeping next to the person, not over the phone. Like if you've lived together or they're staying around your house on this day. Harry. Oh yeah, Harry, get on top of me. Mm, yeah, Harry. Oh, Harry. Babe. Babe! Oh, what? Who the fuck is Harry? What? Who is Harry? What are you going on about, man? You keep saying Harry in your sleep and how you want him to get on top of you. Are you cheating on me? Oh uh, my days, I can't believe you'd actually accuse me of that, man. You're nasty. Me nasty? You still haven't told me who Harry is? Oh, it's my dog. You don't have a dog. I know that. God, man, I'm going about my dog that I had when I was six years old. He used to love jumping up at me. I was dreaming about him. Oh, right. We had to put him down for cancer as well when I was nine. <laughs> but you wouldn't know that. <laughs> you never listen. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> no, man, don't touch me. You're fucking out of order. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't know. Look, I'm going to go for a wee. 
We'll resolve this after, okay? Whatever. Go for your wee man. You're rude. Harry, Harry, Jack, Bobby, Stephen, Chris. Oh, Harry with the Audi. Okay. Yeah, I get why I'm dreaming about him. He dicks me down good, you know. What are you doing on your phone? And who was you talking to? Oh, my days, man. Accusing me of cheating again. Wow, you're rude, you know. Plus, where's my fucking glass of water? What? I asked you for water. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, my God, man. Just shows how much you listen to me. I do. You're right, babe. I'm sorry. I'll get your water now. Good. It's the least you could do for accusing me of cheating. <sighs> oh, my days, but you never guess what happened, yet. Yeah? I was laying next to my boyfriend and I was saying your name in my sleep. <laughs> what a fucking sad he is. <laughs> Anyways, you free Monday. Oh my god, what the fuck? A nude already? Fucking hell, she's so sexy. Haven't I noticed this before? I'm definitely gonna stay up chatting to her. Oh my day, she's the fittest girl ever, I swear to god. A few moments later. Nearly there? <sighs> oh. Wait. Actually, she's kinda clapped. Oh man. And jarring. Why is she snapping me at 3.28am? What a weirdo. What the fuck was I thinking? I'm going back to sleep. Tell me now, boys, if I am not speaking the truth right there, if I'm not spitting straight fucking facts, why for some reason, when you're up late, if this doesn't happen to you, you're chatting shit, you're gassing, yeah? It's terrible, isn't it? But it's facts. Why for some reason, when you're up late at night, as a boy, yeah, you're a bit horny, yeah? You're looking through Insta, or you think, oh, you know what? I'll message some girls late at night. You know girls that are easy, yeah? So you send a Snapchat out to a couple girls, yeah? You finally get a nude sent to you. You start thinking, oh my God, this girl's banging. What the fuck, this girl's banging. You might even call her on the phone, do like fucking sex talk or something like that. As soon as you come, I'm not even joking, yeah? The minute, the, no, the second, yeah? You fucking come, all them feelings go. And you start to feel like a fucking disgusting degenerate like, what am I doing? And this girl that you've been chatting to sexually for the past 20 minutes, you look at her and you think, bruv, what have I been doing? This, this can't just be me. I'm, for a fact, I know it's not me. Boys, come on, yeah? You get a clearer head once you've had a wank. So if you end up wanking over a girl, yeah, and you don't get her afterwards, you probably generally like her. So, you know, boys, if you ever got an exam coming up or any, like, major thing in your life and your head's a bit cloudy, have a wank, you'll think clearer after that. Right, now the third and final thing I want to talk about that difference between when you're single and when you're in a relationship is going on a date. You know, if you're going on a date when you're single, most of the time you don't know the girl that well, unless she's like a friend and then you've like got together because you're friends, yeah? Most of the time, you don't know them. You don't know their personality. You only know what they look like. So you splashing your bollocks on a nice meal or a nice date, yeah? On your first date and you barely know this chick, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, some boys generally take girls to like the fucking, like, shard, for example, on their first date. You don't even know if you like her. What are you doing? Who are you trying to impress? You trying to impress her? Because you might even like her in fucking half an hour. And then what's even worse is the girls that expect that. Fuck off, bro. Why don't you go get a job yourself and pay for it yourself, you cunt? I'm turning this into a rant. But yeah, boys, just take a bird nanos on your first date. Your first date. Just take her nanos. Now those is literally, I think, the tier that sets the bar of like, yeah, that's an alright first date. Then if you know you like her, then splash out. Don't splash out on the first date. Are you alright? Are you sure? And then obviously in relationships, once you're in a relationship, dates become a lot more easier. And anything becomes a date really. If you're just spending time with that person, you're happy, innit? You're not trying to impress anyone, you're not trying to. Obviously you still go out on dates, innit? You know what I mean? You still go out to restaurants, you still go out to things, but it's not like there's no pressure. Do you know what I'm saying? You could, when you're in a relationship, you and your bird, if you're having a meal, literally, there could be silence for a good five minutes and it's not awkward. It's like when you're with your best mate, yeah? There could be silence, there's no awkardness, you just can't move to talk. 
you know what I mean? Or, or you're just eating. Whereas compared to when you're single, you feel like you have to talk. You feel like you have to be, like, otherwise it's awkward. You get what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, yeah, just because I've whooped you three times in a row, you didn't whoop me, and besides, you just put money on so your team's better. Excuses, excuses. Anyways, I'm going to jump in the shower now. I'll see you later. Oh, where are you off to? Somewhere nice? Yeah, actually, as it happens, I'm taking some girl up to the Shard for our first date. What? The Shard? Gosh, she must be special then. What's her name? You know that Becky chick off Instagram with like 10k followers? What? Her? Fucking hell, she's banging, mate. Trust me, I'm meeting her for the first time later. Wait, you've never met her in person before and you're taking her to the Shard? Come again? Yeah, what's wrong with that? She's a fit girl, I thought I'd spoil her. Don't worry, I face under her, she ain't a catfish. Yes, but don't you think it's a bit stupid spending all that money on a girl you don't even know properly? Oh, behave, mate. Have you seen her? She looks like she shits gold for fuck's sake. I'm sure her personality matched her looks. All right, but don't let me say I told you so. You won't have to, it's gonna go fine. Two hours later. Oh my God, man, the food in here is so nice. Isn't it just? I just thought I'd treat you to a special meal since you're a special girl. Oh, boo. That's so sweet. <laughs> I might get what I had last time. Last time? Oh, have you been here before then? Yeah, loads of times, babes. Look, not to be weird or anything, but boys do take me here quite regularly. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I suppose you're single, ain't you? <laughs> so anyways, tell me a bit more about yourself. What'd you get up to in your day to day? Well, I work in a beauty salon from like Monday to Thursday, which is nine to five, obviously. Uh, and then on the Friday, um, I go to college and I do hair and beauty in it. What about you, B? Uh, oh, um, right. Um, well, well, I'm a. Oh, I didn't notice you ordered olives. Sorry, right, carry on. <laughs> right, so, um, like I was saying, uh, I'm a computer engineer, mm -hmm. five days a week, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty full on. Oh, really? I bet that pays well since we're in the shard and all. How do you make myself laugh? Evening, sir, madam, are we ready to order? Yeah, um, could I get... Yeah, can I get the uh, gold lobster tail with caviar, please? And a glass of champagne to wash it down. Actually, you know what? Just bring the whole bottle. Um, sorry. Uh, how much is the gold lobster? It's £112, sir. Oh. Of course it is. <laughs> He's paying for it. He's treating me for our first date. Ah, very good, sir. Very gentleman of you. Well, the lobster is divine. I'm sure it will be money well spent. Mm, could say that. Hi. Hello? Right, babe, I was thinking, since it's Friday and we haven't spent a lot of time together recently, why don't we have a date night? Oh my god, yes, I'd love that. I'll come around in a bit. Sick, I've got some proper fun planned. A few moments later. Put that on, it's meant to be good. Oh yeah, look, it's got a five star review. Wait, before we start the film, should we order a pizza? Oh my god, yes, I'll order it now. <sighs> I love you. I love you too. Anyways, that is the video, I hope you didn't enjoy. I really like making this type of video because, I don't know, I, I, I just, yeah, I enjoyed just making this video, I did. So if you lot could smash the like button, we much appreciate it. Let's see if we can smash 35,000 likes. Let's see if we can smash the like goal, yeah? Fuck the 35k, let's see if we can smash it. Subscribe today to join the Kez Rami, and uh, yeah, goodbye. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's yo lost. They biting.